Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. That's what it's revealing to us. And when I was asking your nationality, most of our people don't know who they are. That's right. They don't know where they come from. And the Lord says that, get that in Isaiah chapter one. The Lord says most of us don't even know who we are and know where we come from. Or some of us, we don't even consider where we come from or who we are. Let's get into Isaiah chapter one. And we're gonna show you that that says the Lord. Watch this. The book of Isaiah chapter one, verse three. Mm -hmm. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Now you see these two animals, an ox, and, a, and, a, and an ass, which is a donkey. These are two work hard animals. Not too much intelligence to them, they just know that's the work. Pretty kind of dumb, they can't do too much for themselves. But what did the Lord say about these two animals? But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. It says these animals know their master's crib, they know that where their home is. But our people, we don't even consider either one. We don't consider what our true land is. We don't consider our true nationality. So right. If you ask any other race, if you ask an Asian, a so-called Asian person, a uh, so-called Chinese person who they are, they won't say Chinese American, they won't say American Chinese, they say I'm Chinese, but I live in America. So right. was, they can be born here, but they say I'm Chinese, I live in America. I'm Japanese, but I live in America. They won't call themselves Japanese American. If you call, ask that man over there across the street, he won't say Indian American, he say I'm Indian, I'm from India. They understand the difference between citizenship and nationality. But the Lord said, our people do not consider that. We call ourselves African-American. Right. Those two words, African and American, those two words come from two European men, two white men, Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Those, that's where that comes from. So do you come from two white men? No, sir. No. You come from a so-called black man. You say your father is from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's who your people are. That's the head tribe of Israel. That's the tribe that Christ came from. And the Lord says our people don't even consider. So now in this land where we carry captives, how do we come back into God's laws? How do we come back to recognizing who we are? Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 8. First we have to realize and understand that we messed up somewhere along the line. Because why is it out of all the nations on the face of the earth, why are we at the bottom? Out of all the nations on the face of the earth, why do we go into the harshest slavery and the longest slavery of all nations? Because don't, don't get it twisted. A lot of other nations went into slavery. People say, oh, the Greeks uh, the Greeks were enslaved and the Italians were enslaved and the third, blah, 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 blah. But keep in mind, when these people were enslaved, when the Greeks were taken over by the Romans, did they not join their armies and rise in power with them as they were in power? Because despite their, despite their, their land mass, they knew they were the same people. That's right. They were white people. And they was like, hey, we have one thing in common. One conquered the other. He realized, hey, you're more powerful, so we're going to follow you now. But that slavery thing, why were we in the longest slavery? Why were we in the most harsh slavery amongst all nations? Let's find out. But what do we have to do to get out of here? Read. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Mm -hmm. If they stand against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, so the Lord God is talking to his people, the children of Israel. There's no man amongst all our people that have not sinned. Every, all of us have. All of us have sinned. All the people that you send this sign have sinned. Watch this, read. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. Were we not delivered into our enemies when we were sold on cargo slave ships? People were just celebrating the 4th of July. In 1776, were we not in shackles and chains? Read. So that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy. So were we not carried away captive into this land of our enemy? Because our enemy came over and conquered this land from our brothers and sisters that were already here. And they claimed this land as their own and they called it America. So were we not carry captives over here in the land of our enemies? Read. Far or near? This is far from Africa. America is far from Africa. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, now the Lord said if we bethink ourselves, going back to Isaiah 1 and 3, and we bethink ourselves on who we are and what we did. No, you don't have to go there, so you don't have to go there. Read. 
Yet, if they shall bethink themselves mm -hmm. in the land whether they were carried captives mm -hmm. and repent mm -hmm. and make supplication mm -hmm. unto thee in the land of them that were carried them captives, that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversively. We have committed wickedness. So the Lord said, Here in America, where we are, we come back to our nationality. Admit to ourselves that we done wrong, that we did wickedly, that we perverse the Lord, not God's laws. So, hold that. How do we know that we broke God's laws? Because God only gave his laws to one nation of people. Let's get that in Psalms 147 and 19. God only gave his, his laws to one nation of people. So how do we know we broke God's laws? Watch this. He gave his laws to one nation of people, and that's the children of Israel. 147 in verse uh, 19 through 20. We're going to show you that, that the law, statute, commandments were only given to the children of Israel. That's why we're going through what we're going through right now. The book of Psalm, chapter 147, verse 19. Mm -hmm. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. Jacob and Israel is the same thing. After Jacob wrestled with the angel, his name was changed to Israel. Read. He have not dealt so with any nation, and for his judgments that have not known them, praise ye the Lord. God said he hasn't dealt so with any other nation. It's for his judgments, praise ye the Lord. That's another way we can identify ourselves as the children of Israel, because the other nations haven't felt the judgment of God's wrath. Only we have. That's why we're being punished for our iniquities, like we read back in Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. That's why we're being punished for that. So the other nations haven't known, known God's judgments. Why haven't they known God's judgments? Because they weren't given the laws, statutes, and commandments. Why? Because they aren't part of this family right here that we read early. So what do we have to do? You, we read in John 14, 15, Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's right. So let's get some commandments that we got to keep. Let's go to uh, uh, our eating habits. Let's go to Leviticus 11. Uh, what's some things you like to eat? We stay, uh, we in the South. So you know some southern things like to eat. We around water. We stay by the Chesapeake Bay. So what's some things you like to eat? You like to indulge in? I'm gonna just name some, um, and you say what, what? What you got? Homemade chili. Homemade chili. Mostly sandwiches. Mostly sandwiches and chili, basically. Like okay. Chili and some sandwiches and chili. Mm -hmm. Do you like turkey sandwiches or ham sandwiches or both? I can eat both. I mean, but I prefer ham sandwiches. Okay, you prefer ham sandwiches. What about uh, seafood? You like seafood? Yes. So you like uh, fish? You like shrimps? You like uh, cracking open crabs and things like that? Yeah, a little bit, but it's mostly fish. Mostly fish? Mm -hmm. But you would, but everyone. Okay, so we're going to show you something according to the Bible because this may seem mediocre or minor, but there's major and minor things of laws that we're breaking, and that's why we're in these conditions that we're in today. So watch this. This is Leviticus chapter 11. This is going to our dietary laws. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. Mm -hmm. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. So you know what the swine is? Swine like the bird? No, swine. No. Swine is a pig. Oh. Pork. So anything that comes from that bacon, uh, pork sausage, pork pepperonis, because you know there's different types of sausage. You got turkey sausage. You got turkey bologna, but anything that comes from that pig, uh, ham, bake, uh, pork bacon, all those things are an abomination to the Lord thy God. God said those are unclean to you. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. So the Lord said we shouldn't eat these things. Why should we eat these things? Because these things are unclean to us. These things will destroy our body. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. These, the pig you shouldn't be consuming. You know to understand the anatomy of a pig? Just a minor thing of, uh, about a pig. Pigs, they're garbage disposed. They literally eat any and everything. Sometimes they become cannibalistic. They get real hungry. Pigs eat all the trash and all the dirt everywhere, all, all over. And they, they hold those toxins in their body because pigs don't sweat. So all those toxins and stuff they eat, they eat that and it's hit your dinner plate, that's going inside your body. Like I brought it before in Las Vegas, they use the pigs to clean up all the food that's thrown away in the restaurants, right? So imagine in Las Vegas, what do they call it, Vegas, Sin City. So imagine all the amount of the, uh, all uh, the things of wickedness going on over there in in, uh, in Las Vegas. So you got people 
doing all minds with so say if somebody has an STD and they got herpes on their lip and they're having a herpes outbreak and they're eating a burger or something at a restaurant in Las Vegas right. that burger gets thrown in the trash now those pigs that's appointed to clean up all that junk now those pigs are eating that burger that was just in that person's mouth that had an STD because herpes is on their lip. And guess what? That same pig will probably be slaughtered and put on your dinner plate. So what does that mean you consume? Everything they consume. All those toxins are going into your body now. Now you got pinworms and now you got all type of things going on in your body that's infecting you. So watch this. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. You, Elijah, you are the temple of God. The children of Israel are the temple of God. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. So the Lord thy God said, anybody that defiles that temple with unclean foods, for one. It's just one thing with unclean foods, such as shrimp and crabs and lobsters and ham and bacon and things like that. God said he would destroy us. How would he destroy us? That's the law. And let's get the curse. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and start at verse 61. So that's the law. So let's get the curse for breaking the law. Because God said, you are the temple of, you are his temple. So clean things was dwelling you. So we gave you the law of eating unclean foods. That's just one of the things of unclean food. Yes, sir. I was wondering, well, what was the next one you're going to do? Because I, I am busy. I got to go uh, Okay, okay. I got to get somewhere, brother. Okay. All right. So this is the last. Uh, I'm going to give you this one, okay? Uh, Deuteronomy 26. This is the curse for breaking that law. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Now, the Lord's, that's one of the curses that have come upon you for defiling your temple with unclean foods. So he said all these plagues and illnesses will come against you till you've been destroyed. What are some things, some plagues that we deal with that destroys our bodies from eating unclean food? High blood pressure. Right. High cholesterol. We get gout. All these things destroy our bodies. Sometimes we get, di we get diabetes. These unclean foods destroy our bodies. Right. We lose limbs, right? We lose limbs. Now, for eating unclean foods, now you got high hospital bills. Now you got to come more out your pocket. Now you got to take medicine. All these things are happening to us for defiling our temple, for breaking God's law. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.